John Lynch has been setting the record straight the last few weeks. There's mm-hmm. been a lot of narratives about how the Niners, you know, went about getting to the decision of drafting Trey Lance. A lot of it uh, painted a picture of a fractured organization, or at least an organization that couldn't come to a consensus t- until the 11th hour. He's been going around saying that that's basically not true, but he's now been going off into different tangents. He recently said that, yes, he called up the, the Packers and inquired about trading that number three pick for Aaron Rodgers. They turned him down, and he says now he's really happy that they turned him down. Uh, do you buy or sell that the Niners made an inquiry and were happy that the Packers rebuffed them? I think they absolutely inquired. Now, whether they're happy or not, I'm not certain about that. That one's a little bit tough for me to, to believe because <laughs> it's it's funny to me. It's draft night. You find out that Aaron Rodgers is available. And instead of, you you know, remember, it was Trey Lance the entire time. That's that's what I learned that's, from, from his appearance on the That's coach. what we learned, yeah. So yeah. if it was Trey Lance the entire time, why call it Aaron Rodgers right then? Why? 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 What's you know, what, so Right. So you, you – are you – were you second guessing that? See, yeah. this is the part that that kind of, I guess, conspiracy theory time. Yeah, it's not adding up. Add up. A, yeah. a lot of this yeah. stuff doesn't add up. So when you call, it's almost like, let's say, there's a girl who comes across on the market that you give her a shot, you give her a call, and she yeah. turns you down. And you're just like, yeah, well, whatever. I, you know, I didn't. I wasn't it. really trying to holler. And I'm not I really was just saying hello. Say no. Yeah, exactly. I was, I was, I'm not even interested. Like, I was just saying, what's up? Something about something about that doesn't really add up for me. So if you yeah. were happy about Trey Lance being there, then you wouldn't have to call on Aaron like, Rodgers. Because- it's like, yo, I saw that girl at the bar and I walked over and tried to get her a drink, but I'm really happy that she said no because I'm trying to save 15 bucks. Like, no, that's man. right. So yeah, you come no, back to your friends. You're not happy. You come, yeah, you come back to your friends after the beautiful woman rebuffs you and you say she had a big nose anyway, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she was business class anyway, man. She was business class. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not certain how much I put uh, stock into anything that's being said right now. Some some of the things, if you really sit there and pick it apart, some of it doesn't add up. Some of it does, some of it doesn't. So, I mean, I'm not in the business of doing all that right now at this point because it is what it is. Who cares how they got there? That's where they're at right now. So, yeah, I wanted to start with this because I wanted to make it clear that although John Lynch is a reputable person and we respect his integrity, that he's also – it's his job to set a narrative right now. It doesn't have to be the truth. It has to make the 49ers look their best. And it's fair to question certain things like when he says, yes, we made an inquiry and we were happy when we got turned down. Dude, that – that – Okay, you can say stuff like that, but we're allowed to be like, yo, that doesn't make that doesn't make sense, John. <laughs> a guy like you went to Stanford, that just doesn't make sense. 